They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make it But you need to talk Okay, so welcome to King's Club Craps King's Club Casino Craps we're going to begin with the very basic forms of craps because there's so much to cover as we go through this, but everything on this table is going to be explained, and we will begin the most basic form <clears throat> where we, uh, we're we starting with uh, $10,975. We're going to try to make $150. You were starting with $1,000 because you already put 25 on the back. Oh, we got, a we, got a we got the quarter down there. That's why. We started at 11000 Thank you, Angel. Exactly. So we got $11,000 and we're going to play with the pass line only, which does hamstring everything. Uh, all of the bets that are available to me are not going to be used. And so we may well have a losing session here because of limiting how I'm going to play. But this is going to be a, a straight up, let's talk about craps, let's talk about playing the come line only <clears throat> with no odds, with no nothing. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about this $25 on the pass line. All we're doing there is we're betting that the come out roll is going to be 7 or 11 and will not be 2, 3, or 12. 2, 3, or 12 is craps. That's an immediate loss on the come out roll. 7 and 11 is an immediate win on the come out roll. Other than that, you will have a point established of 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. And that's when the betting begins. And so we're going to cover that as we go. And, and everything that we, we have going on. We have uh, dice here that we're going to roll two dice, and we are trying to get a 7 or 11 on this come-out roll. That would be a winner. And there is the 11, and that is what's called yo. And the reason it's called yo is because on the craps table, they don't like to say 11 because it sounds like 7. And so they don't like that similar sound. And so you will never hear them say 11. They may say, yo, 11. But in any event, we won $25. And we're going to start right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down one unit to $15 and play a $15 bet now since we are 25 ahead. And we're going to have another come out roll because when you have a 7 or 11 or a craps, you have a new come out roll. So here we are coming out, as they will say, with a $15 bet on the pass line. And there is the roll, and that is a craps. And so there is the loss of the $15. So we're going to go back to a $30 bet now, going up the one unit, and we're at $30, and we're on another come out roll. And there is a 10. Now, here's what we're going to talk about the 10. Is if you look over to the right side, the 10 says 9 to 5. Now, if we are playing the 10 up there, we get 9 to 5 odds because with the 10 number, there are fewer ways to roll the 10. If you take all the dice here, uh, there are 36 combinations on those dice. 36 combinations. The most combinations are on the 7. If you look at the dice between 2 and 12, you will find that seven resides in the middle. Seven is exactly in the middle. There are six ways to roll a seven. If you look at the six to the left of the seven or the eight to the right of the seven, there are five ways to roll them. Then if you go to the five and the nine, there are four ways to roll them. Then if you go to the four and the 10, there are three ways to roll a four and a 10. And so we're trying to roll a 10 because that's the point before we roll a seven. Now, since we know that there are six ways to roll a seven, five ways to roll an eight, four ways to roll a nine, three ways to roll a 10, we have three ways that we can win this and we have six ways we can lose it. So we are a demonstrative underdog here, but there are three ways to roll a 10, so let's try to roll one. And there is a seven out as we expected. And so that lost the $30. And so now we're gonna go to a $60 bet. I'm, I'm sorry. We're, yeah, we're going to go to a $60 bet. So let's bet $60 on the pass line. <clears throat> Same thing, 36 combinations are on those dice. We're looking for a 7 or 11 on the come out roll. Stick with me on this. Ask questions about this beginning phase because there's going to be so much as we go. So we're going to build on this. 36 combinations, we're looking for a 7 or 11 right now. And there is an 11. The dealer would have yelled yo. 
Uh, where it says collect bonus, that's where the box would be. And the man that's sitting behind that runs the table. He's called the box man. Across from where collect a bonus is by the pass line, there would be a guy with a stick. He'd be called the stick man. And there are four dealers, two on either end, and they handle all of the bets. So we just won with that bet. So we're going to go back to a $30 bet on the pass line. And we're trying to make $150. Uh, be a, a small miracle if we were able to do that. But uh, <laughs> we're rolling dice and we're welcome to craps. We have a point on the eight. Now, there are many ways that I would do this. You could see seven to six is the odds on the eight right below the win. Eight by win, seven to six. You can do all kinds of bets out there if you want them. We're not going to do those yet. We're going to sit here with this point number eight, and we're betting that we're going to roll an eight before we're going to roll a seven. Now, in this case, there are five ways to roll an eight. There are six ways to roll a seven. So that's why that win bet odds are seven to six, because it's a little bit of an underdog, but not a terrible underdog. So we're trying to roll an eight, and it can come in many ways, four fours, fives and threes, sixes and twos, lots of ways. We want to roll it before we roll a seven. Now, that's a craps, but it doesn't matter now because we've already got a point established. That would matter if it were the come-out roll, but it does not matter. None of these things matter, actually, except that does. That's a loss, and <laughs> that's, a, that's a seven out. So we're going to go back to a $60 bet after that short roll right there. We're coming out now. Here we go. We're coming out roll. <clears throat> and now this time we got a point of a five. If you see below the buy and the win, seven to five on the, buy, on the five, which is because if you count it down, six ways to roll a seven, five ways to roll a six, there are four ways to roll a five. So we're kind of four against six here in odds. We can't change that. We could take odds and get more money if we roll the five again. We're going to try to do that. Try to roll a five before we roll a seven. No other roll matters now because all they matter to other people at the table. But for us, the only thing that matters is the five or the seven. That's it. That's all that matters. All these other rolls are really nothing. No, they're not really nothing. They are nothing. And there's the five. We hit it. And so now we're $70 ahead. We're going to go back to a $30 bet on the pass line. This is a minor miracle, by the way. You may not realize that, but we're ahead playing only the pass line. But we are trying to play it with a betting progression. <clears throat> there's a six number, and they, they would usually call that easy six. Four and a two is an easy six, meaning there are ways to roll a six that are not hard six. Hard numbers are pairs. The hard six is a three and a three because there's only one way to roll a hard six. That's why there are bigger bets to make if you want to bet hard six. I'm going to advise you against that. But in any event, the dealer would say easy six, six easy. That's what he would say there. The, the on button is on the six, meaning that's the point. So our pass line bet is bet right now with, as you see at the top right or middle right, $30 bet on six. Even the dice show it to you there so you know what you're doing. You're betting $30 on the six to be rolled before the seven rolled. And there's a nine that does not matter one bit to us. In other times, we're going to have that nine bet, though. We'll, we'll, I'll show you ways to cover that. And there's an eight. I'll show you ways to cover that. We've won money on all of these. Anything that's not a seven, we'd be cashing money on. And there's a hard eight. That's what it's a 44. That's a hard eight. So if you played hard eight, if you look over there, at hard eight is nine to one. I'll tell you about those bets too as we go. I'll still discourage you from playing them, but I will tell you about them. And that will be up to your choice as to whether you want to play it or not. And there's seven out, so thanks a lot for that. So um, I think that we're going to go to a $90 bet. So let's go to a $90 bet. <laughs> on a come out and there's a craps and that's a loss of a $90 bet so way to go um, so let's go to a $120 bet I'm probably going to lose this bankroll tonight but that's a, that's an 11 yo and so that, that's off of the, the $90 bet I'm going to reset to 30 now for caution oh, because I, go. I got the angel beside me and he would have told me right away, whoa, 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 big fella. So we're going to come out now. This is a brand new roll. And we got a five. So the point is the five. That's why the on button is there. We have a $30 bet. We're betting that we're going to roll a five before we roll a seven. That, that yo 11 does not matter a bit to us. Now we want five before we want a seven. There's a hard eight, 44. And there's a nine. 
We're trying to get that five up. Oh, there's the seven out. Okay, so now we're going to go to a $60 bet. Come out roll. And there's a hard eight, so <clears throat> the eight's right there for us. There are five ways to roll that eight of the 36 combinations, and there are six ways to roll a seven. So that's 11 combinations of the 36 are covered in the, in the rolls that matter to us. And that nine, we're looking for an eight. Back-to-back -back nines, we're looking for an eight. And we get a five. We don't want a seven, we want an eight. Roll that eight, roll that eight for us. There it is, 62. They would call easy eight, they'd call easy, easy eight. We're up $100, don't know about that 82 cents thing, but we're up $100, and Angel's gonna tell you right now, buddy, you go back down to 30 bucks. And that's what we're doing. And there's the point is the nine. So now we're on the nine. There's a, a little bit lesser chance of rolling the nine, but we can still do it. <clears throat> nine against the seven. That's simply what it is. There's a hard eight. And an easy six. We're looking for a nine. Looking for a nine. There's 11, yo. And there's a seven out. So now we're going to go to a $60 bet. On the pass line, $60. And uh, got a nine again. Here we go. Trying to roll a nine. Easy eight. And a six. Six easy. And another eight. Sixes and eights are the most common numbers besides the seven. There's a nine. We call it out there. So now we are within $20 of making 150 but don't start celebrating because we're not there yet. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. You can get down to this last bet. You know that full well from roulette. You can get down to that last bet. Like, matter of fact, right now, I would have left with $130. I'm playing pass line only. Everybody at the table would say, you're the only person in the world that's ever won just playing pass line only, but... When your betting progression is there and you understand what you're doing, it is possible, as we're doing here. And so let's see if we can get us something here. Let's roll seven and seven or eleven right here. Give me a good roll right here. And there's eight easy. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit this eight before we hit the seven. And here we go. We're trying to hit an eight. And we did not get it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, we're gonna go back to back to the drawing board. To the sixty dollar bet. Here we go. And we got that eight again. I said the eights are frequent numbers. The crap there does not matter. Two, three. And the seven out. So now we're going to go to a $90 bet. Told you, getting that last <clears throat> little bit was not so easy. And six easy. Here we go, trying to get a six. The six is almost the same as the eight. Same amount of ways you can roll it. Five ways to roll a six. Now we get the eight. Sure, thanks a lot. You've seen that in roulette, haven't you? We need a six. Come on, give us a six this time. Seven out. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we're going to go to $90. A $90 bet on this losing streak. Oh. Hard eight. There it is. We need an eight. We need an eight. And there's a nine. There are five ways to roll it. Come on, give it. Nope, seven out. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to a $120 bet. Up the scale. Losing streak continues. Here we go. <clears throat> on the nine. Nine is the point. It's the only thing that matters. And there's the seven out. So we're going to go to $150. We need to get some luck here. And we got a five. Five is the point. And seven out. So we're going to 180. $180 bet on the pass line. And there's a seven. And they would call, craps, pay the front line is what they would say. They would play... Pay the front line. So that one was at, uh, what was that at, Angel? $150? That one it was? 100 and, uh, 150, 180, I don't know. I think it was at 180. So we're going to go, 
we're going to go to 170. $170 bet going down, $10 units. And there's a crap right there. Great. Thanks a lot for that. <clears throat> so now we got to go to 210. Need to win a lot now. Got to win a lot now, but particularly since we're not playing any odds, and there's another crap. So now we're going to 2 240. Really, really, really short video here. Really short video. <laughs> How to we're lose $1,000. Well, How to lose $1,000 playing only the front line. So there's a five, so well, let's, let's see if we can roll a five this time. Now, all these times that we have been rolling, I would have been playing odds, and so we'd have had more payoffs than we have had. But uh, this was an educational time to look at playing the pass line, what happens with these dice, how do you actually play the game. So there's Nate. We're looking for a five before the seven comes out. We're looking for a five. We got everything but the five. And the seven out. So, uh, yeah, you got 150 bucks to play with. That's all you that's got. That's all we got is 150, right? Okay, so. But we also need to know how they like, do they like this app? Do they, and then tell them about the horse racing too. You got a little bit of stuff to talk about. Yeah, we got other things we can talk about because we're not going to win our way back this way. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's uh, let's go ahead and play 150 on the pass line again since we managed to win that. And it's very difficult to roll a four, but we're going to try. <laughs> and we rolled it. So <laughs> somebody go ahead and try to figure that out if you want. So we'll play $75 on the pass line. Going down a little bit. And we have easy eight there. Eight is the point. And there's a seven out. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what, I'm just going to play $375 and say to heck with it. Because... You got a lot of other stuff to talk about. Yeah, we got things to talk about. And we, we could say we could say that, but then again, there, there we go. We just... <laughs> All right, so... We're going to play $75 now. <laughs> we got a five point. I guess, I guess the, the thing about it is you can win just playing only the pass line as long as your bet progression is what it is. But uh, <laughs> I, I pretty much walked the plank a little bit there. Okay, so I, I'm going to keep pushing it because you guys, I just as soon go ahead and lose the money now. We got 10. Easy 10, 6 and a 4, and he, that's a hard 6. Doesn't matter. All we're trying to get is a 10 before a 7. But there's a lot more ways to roll that 7 than there are to roll a 10. But then again, it does happen. And I, I, the angel's getting a big kick out of me, obviously. This is, this is typical for me, this kind of thing that's going on right now. $75 we have out there right now. And there's a craps bet, so we're going to go to 150 The craps roll. Point is five. We got $150 on the five point, and there it is. We won that. So now we're almost back to even. Angel, I'm going to pay $30 and just say I, I, this is what I would do here. <laughs> we were down $1,000, and only playing straight up bets is it's nuts. But uh, that's what we got hard for. We're trying to get an eight before a seven. That's what we're trying to get, back-to-back -back hard fours. And there is the eight, and um, okay, well, I just, uh, not much I could say about that. There's $30 out there on the pass line. And there is a six, easy six. Five ways to roll it, and we're trying to get that. as a yo 11, doesn't matter. Trying to get the six before the seven. That's what you're simply trying to do. There's a lot more bets that we're going to get after. This is an introduction to craps. Playing the front line, the pass line. That's what it's called, the front line, pass line only. And we're trying to show how your, your come out roll is, what happens on the come out roll, what wins, what loses, what happens when you establish a point, how do you win from there, how does your betting progression save you, We'll be doing this. 
This reminds me of me and King Michael at the Shelbyville Casino playing craps that we did with JP. And there's an eight and a 10, trying to get that six. Total bet, $30. And there's a seven out. So I'm gonna go to a $60 bet on the pass line. And there's a seven winner. And now I'll go to $30 bet on the pass line. And there's a crap, so we're gonna go to a $60 bet. And a hard 10 is rolled. Trying to get a 10. 10 is the point. 10 is the point with a $60 bet. Hard six. Six the hard way, as they would say. And the 10 is the winner. So I would go back to the $30 bet. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm $20 ahead. I'm happy. Yeah. What do you think, I, Angel? I think we should just leave. Yeah, we're $20 ahead. We can afford to get burgers on the way home, and we're not gonna risk any more money tonight. There are 36 combinations on these dice. The seven is the most prevalent number. There are six ways to roll it. There are 30 ways to roll everything else, and it descends on going toward the left down in numbers or to the right up in numbers. The five and the eight has five ways that they can be rolled. The four and the 10 has four ways they can be rolled. And the three has, and the 11 uh, the same way, and the two and the 12 have the one way. So that's what you have for, for a dice. Everything that you see here, pass line, field bets, big eights, hard numbers, numbers you can buy, ways you can play don't come bar, like it says don't come bar, don't pass bar. Those means that you're playing with the house. Those means that you're betting that the seven is going to come up and that the house is going to win. Now, at the table, they call that going on the dark side. And in some places, it's, a, it's frowned upon because it looks like you're betting with the house. But uh, actually, you're betting whatever you want to bet. And I have seen many people playing the dark side because that is simply saying if you... If the, if the come out roll is 2, 3, or 12, you would win. If the come out roll is 7, then you would lose because the roller wins. And if the, if the roller establishes a point of, say, 10, and then rolls a 7 before the 10, then you win if you're on don't, don't come or don't pass bar uh, if you're playing against the roller. You can talk about all this. And we're going to talk about all that stuff as we go. But I wanted to give you an introduction. I wanted to get some feedback, see uh, does this uh, interest you. Uh, because there are all kinds of bets you could have going here, and we could have won three or four thousand dollars on bets and uh, other bets during the course of this this one short session here, but we still did have a winning session. We're up twenty dollars, <laughs> and uh, who knows? We might have won one hundred and fifty if, if we went. We were close to going bust, and so we came all the way back. So that's actually won almost a thousand dollars in the last ten or twelve spins. So. This was a King's Club Casino, stepping out into the craps table. We can have more of it, a lot more of it, if that's what you want. If you guys want to go straight to blackjack, you want to go straight to horse racing, we can do that too. So you're going to do horse racing I'm anyway. going to do it all anyway. We're going to do it all anyway. We're making the moves, supporting the kingdom. We got the wide bands expanded so that we can do some videos and things that are going to be easy for you to see. And we're here for you. Give us some feedback. Like this video. This is the first of the craps. Please give this one a good like and make some comments to us. And I will be talking to you about what Roll Them Bones is all about. For the angel, the king, bids you adieu.